and I can't, I can't. For my right, I'm pretty much blind. Yeah. Yeah. So I operate in a different view. Like no, I I can't hear in this ear. So it's just like fantastic. <laughs> One guy you can't see, one guy you can't hear. Terrific, and we're doing an interview in a car. Chalte. Hello, sir. Hi. Namaste, right? How are you? No, Rana. Rana. Yeah, take it. Yeah, uh, Bahubali. No, Bala Dev. Miss from Bahubali. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take a selfie. Sure, come on. Sure, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. See, they want different between me and Pravas. Maybe. So they're like, hey, two big guys, probably the same. Sir, your car is now protected. Good morning. Welcome to the Bombay Journey, Hyderabad edition, Rana. Thank you, man. Thank you. How does it feel to be launching our Castrol Magnetic Non-Stop Protected Bombay Journey, Hyderabad edition? Welcome to Hyderabad. Yes, Ramanai to Studios. Mm. This is like your home. You got married here also. Yeah, I got married here. <laughs> yeah, this is home. Actually, this is home. Yeah, yeah. I've shot here in yeah. 2002. Yeah. There was a film called Nigun and Nagro. Yes, sir. I was also a part of it. Yes. Then you did audition there, Shanu. Select I Shanu. రాయిటీ <laughs> 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 coming up with a film that also has your name in it too many similarities i don't know if that's uh, <laughs> the name in it is a good thing or not dekho bhai jo log bombay journey dekhte hain unko main aaj ek sach batata hu hyderabad ki film industry puri is ek pahad pe hai film nagar jubilee hills banjar hills mein puri industry hai aap yahan pani puri khane nikloge aapke baju mein koi producer khara hoga yeah that's 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 what it is man it's uh, i'll tell you what's fun so this area that you're now driving through we moved here about in the it like 1990 okay from chennai yeah and it was just rocks it was all rocks and it was very strange because it, in the 90s for about 10 years it was a bunch of rocks about three or four homes yeah all of those homes that were not real homes but they were shooting homes <laughs> wow and uh, i used to live in one of those shooting homes <laughs> uh-huh. you lived in a set i lived on set yeah so yeah so <laughs> I used to live on the top floor and all my dining area and everything in that house had every day, fake fake stuff No no but every day there was different shooting so mostly when I went to set I probably ate breakfast on set. some production set and I left <laughs> So that <laughs> that is me Dude what is that life even I don't know 7am you are waking up because that is the call time to That's eat nasta Yeah let well, them serving anyways might as well eat and then go to school <laughs> So far, no, I was telling you hmm. about Rana Naidu huh. because कुछ अभी गाड़ी में गोची हुआ तो आप संभाल लोगे ना फिर हाँ संभाल हाँ है ना कुछ भी अंदर पड़ा रहेगा पीछे डिक्की में तो देख लेना वो नहीं तो ना कर लो मेरे सामान लूटे नहीं कर लो नहीं 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 कैरेक्टर कौन सा मैं मार्ट लड़ते नहीं करनी ओके all of this is because your character is very fascinating yeah man it is uh, as soon as I heard the first version of what uh, karan had adapted right yeah from the original i was like wow this is it's a hyper real world but it's it's a mix of a bunch of gray and black characters that are just somehow trying to be Exist. a family <laughs> or diabolical shit is yeah, happening yeah fully fully diabolical shit is happening and i was like okay wow now this is stuff that i can never do in film and uh, I said long form is the only way we can tell a story like this. Yeah, that's it and then I was on. Are you are you happy as an actor when you're doing something that's so like long drawn because your arc is like taking forever. You know where exactly where it has to got to reach. Yeah. Uh Hai na? See, to me I think it's this is the first step and I really enjoyed this process. The fact that you can your the character that you have is not limited to a certain yeah. to our type of emotion. It's you live much more deeply with it yeah yeah so like in this show you will like me you will hate me also you will think i'm not such a bad guy you will think i'm a really dirty guy like dirty guy. so there's too many things that are happening and i feel like uh, as an actor you you you'll start really enjoying this form quite a bit if you find characters that are this unique to play by like in jo creators hain 
वो मिर्जापुर के इन साइड एज के मतलब और हथोड़ा त्यागी भी आपके साथ यू हैव अभिषेक बैनर्जी विद यस ऑफ कोर्स आई हैव अभिषेक बैनर्जी विद मी प्लीज माय ब्रदर या व्हाट अ लवली एक्टर ही इज क्रेजी नो इज अ क्रेजी गाय एंड एन अमेजिंग अमेजिंग एक्टर मैन बट इज इट इज इट प्रेशर बिकॉज़ यू हैव लाइक दिस लाइक स्टॉलवर्ड्स कमिंग यू हैव योर ओन लेगेसी दैट यू आर ब्रिंगिंग टू द टेबल आई मीन इट्स अ अ शो इज फन ओनली व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग विद मेनी मेनी फिनोमेनल एक्टर्स एंड आई आई स्टार्ट लर्निंग अ लॉट मोर I start getting better if there are actors around me that are that are so so good, and I'll have to tell you about Abhishek Banerjee. So he's also a casting director. Yes, he's of also course. he's also an acting trainer. He uh, before uh, when we started our readings and programs, so we used to uh, he used to sit with me and we used to he used to create exercises and moments with uh, with me. Oh yeah, for scenes and stuff like that, and it's because obviously we're brothers and there's a certain energy and connection we share. So that's uh, so. So he was he was a great help, and always working with actors that are phenomenal and have done a great body of work is always a blessing to be with. So cool, yeah. So tell me, here is a story. So tell me, because KBR Park, I have also seen it. So this whole, I mean, you you crossed Film Nagar. Yes. So you would have crossed you you crossed my old house that I live in. It's now Sanctuary. It's a restaurant. <laughs> uh, then uh, there's Mr. Mohan Bahu, who was on that same street. Correct. Uh, which is also on the main road, and. Uh, And that's it. So that was the first bunch of homes in Film Nagar. Oh, you all set up in Film Nagar? Yeah, literally. You no, know, it was rocks, and there were studios being built, and <laughs> only family people lived there. That's why it is called Film Nagar. So it's funny. It is called Film Nagar, and beside that is Chitrapuri Colony, where all the technicians lived. In. Oh wow! So all of them who moved from Chennai, who uh, were creating these jobs here, were here. Yeah. Subtle. So it's a city that was built first on cinema. Yeah, it was yeah. so. So cinema is the first industry really here, and uh, which is why it's so loved. It's. Uh, I mean, that's why you have directors also as the promotional campaign of a, of a poster of a film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, just the love for film is so much, and anybody who is willing to push the boundary, is just accepted and loved. Uh, Correct. Greatly. In. How are that's you? That's Mr. Balakrishna sir. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, yeah. So how were you in school? How was I in school? random really yeah i guess what does that mean what does that mean uh, uh i didn't have very many interests and the thing is i thought you would have but not not for what was being done at school not at studies not at sport not at any of those things i used to like a movies a lot oh yeah yeah, yeah so uh, right from when i was in 5th 6th 7th grade i used to go for all of the movies that were in the theaters and stuff mm So what theaters? So, Nalla Kunta Circle, like what that? No, no. I used to go to RTC Crossroad. RTC Crossroad. RTC Crossroad. RTC Crossroad mostly. It's like a and, theater uh, mall. Yeah, it's a theater, theater road. Road. <laughs> and uh, I used to go to Sangeet and Anand towards English films. Of course. Uh, so that was school. But uh, like I like I said, there was no real interest in uh, studies or, or I just couldn't do it, man. Then and yeah, and then I failed in school, and after that I just started working. This is okay. I need to figure out what I'm doing in life. So I started doing some advertising work, some photography work. Oh, you started this effects. in school, college only? Right after I got out. So okay. So I so till tenth grade I was in HPS. Yeah. And then I failed. Wow. And then I went to a school called Nalanda. Yes. Where they'll make you really, really study and you. Very rigorous one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, and then I went to BCom. For a little bit, and I was like, "Do that, sir." Saint Mary's. Yeah, Saint Mary's. I was in B. Com. Popular college, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a very popular college. But that's it, man. And I couldn't do it after that. And I said, "Okay, listen, I, there's too many interests that I have, and I feel like I can build a career somewhere else." And education wasn't doing the job in the formal way. Hmm. I said, "Today, you talk about many more alternative learnings and all of that, but back then, you." You never had nothing, no. You, yeah. There's a basic way we were taught. So yeah, so that's it. I started working when I was 17, 18. Uh, I was working with an animation studio. With, with actually a physical effects company was that first that exposed me to all of this called Digital Force. Oh, super. Uh, then, so what you create like larger? You create models so, or no? This is like I'm talking about 2099. That time, but it's a very different time. <laughs> <laughs> very very small things. Like uh, what all? I I just uh, want. I'm curious. Like, there'd be 
miniatures that we create a lot yeah that's what uh, miniatures miniatures we do, we do a lot we do a so you do the car fight chase sequence ka cars yeah crashing falling car chase plane chase all of that but in a miniature kind of setting so you knew what angles or camera lensing can be used yeah. to kind of make something look yeah so so that's the only thing i studied i studied industrial photography wow and uh, after that so i had a sense of lensing i had a sense of framing and stuff like that So it moved from there uh, to uh, doing yeah, some yeah. advertising work, and I used to work with another friend called Shubhdeep, who used to run a visual effects company called oh, Timeline Studios. That was a fun, interesting. Basically, yeah. that's not eating your confidence because I'm like a typical Hyderabad child. Huh. Chala pressure on I kada. Indeed. Mano under ninety percent all under I kada. Friends under baga score jaise thunaro IIT ko sam prepare jaise thunaro. నేన్ ఆ ఫ్రెండ్స్ గ్రూప్ లో లేను నేను లేను నా గ్రూప్ మై గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇస్ వెరీ డిఫరెంట్ ఆర్ కాంపిటీషన్ ఇష్యూస్ ఏం లేవు మోర్ నైస్ ఎవడ పాస్ అవుతాడో లేదా తెలియకుండా అలా తిరుగుతూ ఉంటాడు సో ఐ థింక్ ఆ ప్రెషర్ ఇప్పుడు రాదు నా అవునా నో బట్ ఐ వాస్ యాక్చువల్లీ డ్యూరింగ్ వెన్ యు గెట్ ఓల్డర్ ఇన్ 10th గ్రేడ్ అండ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దట్ నో దెన్ देयर ఇస్ ఇట్ సడన్ హిట్స్ యు నో యా విత్ దిస్ హెక్టిక్ కాంపిటీషన్ అండ్ వాట్ యు హావ్ టు పాస్ దిస్ టెస్ట్ ఆల్ and your other friends go abroad and go to bigger colleges yeah. you don't everybody going to the us that's like, okay man thing. screw you i'll get a job <laughs> <laughs> i'll figure out this I'll figure this out somehow so that was me that's, uh, that's bombay and hyderabad for you manish malhotra here yeah manish malhotra is here yeah manish bhai is everywhere hmm. i tried talking to him in hindi hmm. bombay in hindi is like kya what is bol bhai le kar rahe le what are you talking <laughs> hello manish what a guy When you go to Google, your eye has a very big part to play. A lot of Google questions about you is about your eye. Why is that? Why is that? Because uh, I think I'm one of the few guys who had a corneal transplant. I actually spoke about. It. So I guess. Yeah, that's people. A lot of people were not talking. You spoke about it around the same time about it. 2016, you told the world about your so it was surgery. Yeah, so it was also because there was a kid who uh, whose mom had lost her eye, and he was really sad in terms of what it is. And I said, "Dude, it's not that bad. Let's." There's a everything has a way of it, and that's when I just told him about my and and I can't, I can't for my right. I'm pretty much blind. Yeah. Yeah. So I operate in a different view. Like the way you measure uh, distance and uh, yeah. everything yeah. is very, very yours own. So I'm so so my driving skills are pretty bad. Yeah. Because I can't gauge distance, can't especially gauge in distance. the night, it gets worse. True. So. Safer for you to drive. Yes, hundred percent. No, I I can't hear in this year. So it's just like fantastic. <laughs> one guy you can't see, one guy you can't hear. Very good. And we're doing an interview in a car. Chalte. And I'm showing you the city also. Fantastic. Yeah, but <laughs> what a show. This is it. This is life. And if you have the power of this, so very kind of you, yar. I think that's a very good thing to have. No, no, no. And I feel like in my life, I had a lot of these things, and uh, and it can really break you. Many people get broken because of a physical problem. Yeah, and uh, even if it's it's even if it gets fixed, there's a certain heaviness that will still still be there, right? And I just feel like okay, you you will have this stuff, right? I said, I had a corneal transplant, I had a kidney transplant, so it's like I'm almost the terminator. So it doesn't. <laughs> so I was like, come on, I'm still surviving, and we just have to make keep going. Yeah, we live. So it's actually funny. This is the first place I stayed in Hyderabad for a brief time when they were building the house in Filmaga. Oh yeah. So Srinivas had towers. This is the one. There used to be a barber shop down called Toppers in that building. So this was the one of the first buildings that was there. There's nothing here. Uh, <laughs> just there was this. There was Amrita Mall. Yes. Yeah, uh, which was built by the same country club group. Okay, super. So and there used to be a bowling alley there. I used to go. To. There used to be a bowling alley here. Yes. I think there still is. And what was amazing? There used to. I mean, now it's gone, but there used to be a Walden here. Oh, I remember what, the Walden. That used to be. I would come here for Harry Potter books. My most favorite place to go to when I was there. Oh, same, same, same. Whether well, it's books, toys, it doesn't matter. Just being around Walden was uh, yeah was special. You climb up and you go inside and yeah, you sit yeah. there. Yeah. So then we have a new segment called Protection Day Fun Day. Hmm. I want to understand how much of a motor head are you? How much of a motor head am I? I'm terrible, man. I have no driving skills. Yeah. Uh, I just like cars with legroom. That is I'm tall, and the AC should work. That's good. Uh, very specific ask. Yeah, yeah, very specific ask. There are only like one or two people I call every time I want to buy a car. Yeah. It's either Chetanya or Dulkar. I was I was both wondering if you'd work. call yeah Chetanya or Dulkar. Yeah, both Best. are extreme car heads. You know the engine of the car and how it will. Yeah, yeah. What I should be doing with it? Because mad only, bro. Oh, completely. So 
Yeah. Deacon's so, garage is a is a house. Oh, is his house. Yeah. Right. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So so no, I am not a motorhead at all. No. 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 Not at all. But as if you are a sedan then. Huh? What what do you prefer? As if you are a so sedan. So I bought this car, and I think it is the best car I've bought in my life. Okay. It's called the Toyota Wellfire. I love the Wellfire. It's unreal. It's the Toyota is Wellfire, and it's it's like a hall. So the Wellfire that that to me is. YouTube, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I host a show called the. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Right? How are you? No, doing? Rana. Rana. Yeah, take it. Yeah, Rana. Bow Bali. No, Bala Dev. Miss from Bow Bali. Yeah. Can I take a selfie? Sure, come. Sure, go ahead. See, they won't difference between me and Pravas. Me. It's <laughs> so like, hey, two big guys, probably the same. Come here. Come here, buddy. Even grocery shopping yeah. and meant. Come here. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. This is the car. That's that's my car, and you have a lot you can do inside there. Bro, it's like that's it. And I think I've I've forgotten how to how to drive uh, because of that vehicle. Now I just sit with my legs like, spread out, and that's it. Were you ever the kind who go to a mechanic and you know sit there and look at things and how they're happening? No. no, I was never no, I was never interested in cars or bikes at all. Bikes, nothing, nothing. What are you doing for non-stop protection on the road trip? Like, is there a is there a tip that you'd like to give them? Non-stop protection. Yep. On the road, just drive safely, dude. Yeah. Drive safely. Sit down. There's no hurry. Uh, there's nothing will happen if you're five minutes delayed. I think that's a very very valid that's point. It. That's that's to me that's all it is. Sometimes on a highway you realize that the toll, hmm. the guy you're trying to compete with, is just he's just two minutes true. ahead. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> so what's doesn't the point? Matter, doesn't matter at all. Super so, great tip. I just want to know as a human being, hmm. you're putting on so much, you're losing so much. I saw you at the Walkers and Co bit. Hmm. We were there at the John Legend thing together. Hmm. You're just sitting there eating your chakna, being like chill. Hmm. I'm like that's Rana. Yeah. He's lean as fuck and yeah. like you know I just couldn't recognize you. This is easier to move around like this. <laughs> It's lighter. It started actually with uh, from Bahubali to Chandrawal Nadu was wrong. No, I was just finished Bahubali, but then I was like a fool. Any time. And that's not how Chandrawal Nadu looks. Yes. If I'm trying to play somebody in real life, I got to look like that man. So I just went, I went like completely depleted of myself of protein. I just stayed wedge for a really long period. Like time. calorie deficit and all. Yeah, yeah, fully. I stopped going to the gym. I only used to do cardio like nonstop. Okay. And uh, and yeah, and I was able to knock off a good 28, 20 to 25 kilos of size muscle, which got away. And it was fine for the role, but it was. Pretty messed up just doing that yo-yo. Yeah. For health. And you have problems and all that. Then, you, but you realize this is your job. This is who you are. So, so then, what are you doing to protect your body? Is like, are you making sure you have enough supplements to make sure that? I just go to the doctor enough number of times. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fair, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this, just stay towards your left. Okay. Okay. So moving on. Ah, आप लोग अगर end तक देखेंगे तो protection के funding का एक segment का give away. We're going to get you to sign a pillow of ours. So then, if they get the answer right in the comments, they'll get that pillow. Yeah. So then, uh, your basic childhood has been on set only. Yeah, my my most fun memories have been either in set or running around HPS just randomly. So then, Saini Kudu hmm. has a very good story because my nani and my father went to watch it because my mother wouldn't want to. And Saini Kudu had that song, Ada Saini Kudu, gichi 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 gichi. So it was a really cool film. And Mahesh Babu, so it was just like next level. And you, you were working on that. Yes, I was working on that. That was the last film I did, visual effects, huh? and uh, and that's it. After that, I finished and I sold my company. Oh, you sold your company? Yeah. A put a entrepreneurial. And the are the entrepreneur all like that? There's a lot more difficulties than that. Okay. But uh, oh, you me, sold it because of something else? Yeah. So the intent was really to build a really creative kind of shop where. People can start imagining big spectacle-based films and stuff like that. But I guess I was just too early in the run. It was becoming a service shop of doing uh, very st things. strange visual effects and uh, <laughs> opticals and like that. So, so that's it. That, so that, that kind of I was doing that for about four years, and that's it. I was done with that business. I was like, it's getting more and more expensive to run it. You make less and less money. You, you are not finally doing uh, what you are intended to do. You're just running a sweatshop. But you did win an award for Sainikudu, right? Yeah, yeah, we won. I we won a Nandi award for Sainikudu for the visual effects. But, but well, I, I'm not very proud of it or <laughs> what I did at that point. Endu gatla? 
I just feel like you could have done so much better. Yeah. I mean, uh, looking at it hindsight, it, the film also didn't work. It was uh, also not such great visual effects. Just that nobody else did it, and I guess. Yeah. So then you move on from that hmm. to doing uh, producing. Yes. Was that coming naturally to because of a father or whatever? I guess this was the job, right? I was. This is my world. My culture was the movies. I had to do something here, and I wanted to do left here. Hmm. So tell me, uh, so, after this, there is a four, three, four year break before you start acting full time. Three, four year break. A day. You were doing a bunch of things, Gada. Uh, so 2005 was when I made Belly Full of Dreams, Bommalata. Yes. Film released, and yeah, I was trying to produce films after that. Okay. Yes. And yeah, probably like uh, 2009 is when I started acting. Leader, like, yeah. Yeah, and 10 is when Leader released. So yeah, so I think yeah. A one-two year gap, and this is what I chose to do. So how how does this switch happen? What are you doing? Are you auditioning? Are you meeting people? Putting yourself out there to act? Was there a conscious this thing? No, it's a very different approach. Okay. So I was trying to produce films, and uh, there were actors at that point, uh, big popular now big stars who were much younger at that time. Yeah. Who I tried pitching stories to, nobody liked. Or wasn't vibing with the kind of stories that oh. I was trying to tell, because I was still slightly alternative in nature. They were. Sorry, uh, your music is playing. What is? Oi. Yeah. I just tried getting the maps on. Yeah. So you were taking around your stories. Yeah, I was taking my stories around, and uh, uh, yeah, none of them liked it so much because they were very independent in nature. Yeah. Nice. Manama. something new, right? So you, I was getting. Rejected because there no one was vibing that story, and I think I, a year passed where I didn't do anything. Like I didn't make a film. I was in. I just was selling the visual effects company, so there was that process going on. And uh, and it's actually my my granddad who told me this. He said, uh, "So what's happening? You said you have so many stories and you haven't made a film. What's up?" <laughs> and he said, "Dude, we made like 120 films in five seconds. So for him, it doesn't." <laughs> It's like a number. Yeah, he's like, hey, what are you talking about? And I said, yeah, I said, not able to find actors. Uh, they're not liking these things. Or, I said, why don't you do it yourself? I was like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and then I actually quit everything that I was doing. I took one year off. I went to some theater class, some acting classes. I went to stunt school abroad. Yeah, where did you go? I went in two places. One in Carolina, North Carolina, and one in Seattle. So. So yeah, that's it. So that's that happened, and uh, and then an alternative film was was right there for the picking, which was Leader, and that's how that's how I started my life as an actor. So that was career number three, I think. But yeah, lasted well. No, but what's amazing is, and this is kudos to you because you you won for VFX, you won for producing, mm. and then as soon as you launched, you won there as well, and very soon came your Bollywood debut also. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. No, I mean, uh, it's nice that I was able to do different things, and I have multiple careers in the entertainment <laughs> business. So it's it's good. It's it's, it's always fun. How was Dhamar Adam? Because you were doing Goa shooting, was you were all even shooting like. So I think Dhamar Dhamar Adam was probably the best film set I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> like period, period. There's nothing better than that. How is that? See, you know, one first I was I was young. I didn't know anything. <laughs> Second, uh, though, Leader was my first film. The Marathon felt like my first because it's it's really an industry I didn't know. It's people I never knew here. Like I knew everybody. I knew yeah. the, everybody on set. I knew the director, the directors. I knew all of them in a different light. Like they knew me as a visual effects artist. They knew me as a Correct. producer. They, they met you as a technician. Yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but in Bombay it was like here you go all fresh, right? <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and it was three four months in Goa. I uh, had a ball. It was <laughs> it was Abhishek, Pratik, uh, Bipasha. Like literally the whole group was fun. It was Rohan Sippy was. 
such a cool filmmaker and it was such a cool film yeah right so so yeah i i have only most fond memories of the maruda you have two very popular songs yeah. from the film that that are still very very relevant <laughs> yeah we had some great music and probably yeah actually it's funny that's the only love story that i've ever done in my life what are you saying yeah i've never done any other. really no no ah uh, matlab like there have been tracks where you where you have love yeah but also in a very different manner it was correct nina raju was the only is a husband and wife yeah yeah, yeah. but otherwise there has been no standard love story tracks or anything in in, in rana naidu there seems to be a lot of <laughs> rana naidu is a family drama it has sex a bunch of it yeah it has yeah lots of <laughs> strange things will keep happening around those frames yeah so i guess uh, you will see when you see it. yeah but yeah. no but the core of it is a family drama it's oh, super. a bunch of great people trying to get their family back together and uh, and you're also you're doing great. stunts yourself no i mean it's that action is pretty basic it's see that's not see i've done stuff which is way off regular human limits so <laughs> uh, this is this is normal this was this is fun yeah this is an important place for us but this is prasad uh, prasad the world film world yes uh, again an early institution in hyderabad so it's important. actually funny so when i was here this is where the tar road stopped yeah and from here was the mud Kacha road, road. In, yeah. into uh, kpr into film nagar and all that that's true so that was life and today all of it has changed quite dramatically yeah and the whole uh, <coughs> contribution of mr prasad to yeah. the whole of our city is yeah. very big l b prasad i institute this yeah goosebumps yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. The the lab also does so much content. idea credit list Prasad Lab So So yeah, lab 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 in in Mumbai, they're lab in Chennai. They're lab in Chennai. They're probably are the biggest laboratory company. In in the the country. From, from, yes, yeah, from our country, for sure. Is 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 it 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 not working anymore? It is, it is. They moved it to the oh. cameras because they heat up. Ah. Also, Hyderabad heat has come off. Dude, it's Hyderabad in summer, man. It's, <laughs> in summer, summer. I mean, this is just the early part of summer. It's yeah. even. <laughs> it starts frying you up. Yeah. But what has happened to the traffic? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Cities become much bigger than what it is. Cities become so much bigger. There's a. We have a inner ring road, outer ring road. Yeah. Now they're making a regional ring road. Yes. Yes. There. Fuck my life. It's just mental. But I love the ORR. It's not like I don't love it. Such a great connect, man. No? This is just quickly gets you to the airport. Into no, it's just like that. Into whichever part of the city that you. Yeah. Forty-five are. minutes and you're there. Yeah. Yeah. But this traffic and this start stop, you don't have to worry about. Our car is protected by castle magnetic. So tell me this: huh. you're then doing a lot in, till 2015. Baby and Bahubali are coming in the same year. So I'll tell you how baby happened. Uh, so I was obviously started Bahubali and Bahubali was going on. <laughs> it was a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I first injured my uh, foot actually. So I had an MCL tear. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. In between, and uh, we had to take off like what five weeks or something. And I just. And you're also trying to put on weight for. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that was a continuous process throughout lifting and training. So when th- that happened, I came back onto set after like four or five weeks, and probably a week or ten days later, Prabhas got injured. Like his shoulder was off, and then he needed like surgery and stuff. So then that was like a maybe a one and a half month wait or a two month kind of wait. Damn. So then uh, the only thing I was like, okay, I need to do some something. Like, I can. <laughs> I'm a guy who's just antsy. So then I asked Raj Malli. I said, sir, there's. Uh, can I do something else in two months and come back? Uh, I said the only thing I asked is, can I cut my hair? Because I had really long hair. And yeah. I won't get another role with anybody if I had that <laughs> hair. I said I'll still continue to be big, but. Uh, uh, Now you have to look for a role. Yeah, where you have to be that. Yeah, and it's it's bulky. a stroke of luck, right? And then uh, need, uh, and some, I don't even know how they got connected to me. And then I called. He called, and then I went to his office, and that's it. And just I was like, he just told me, and then I was like, perfect. Yeah. There you go, big guy can do this job, and <laughs> and that's it. I started, and I was done in two months, and I got back. Oh, super. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, and then I got to learn a lot uh, with Neeraj in that little time. And when again, Bahubali was continuing to happen. And uh, I had a break actually in between, uh, as in bet- between part one, part two, when part one was getting done. Yes, this, there was a little time before we got back to part two, and uh, I'd got another story, which uh, which again we just stumbled upon. Right, it was a short filmmaker trying to make a film on a submarine. Gazi. Uh, Gazi. <laughs> so he was trying to make a forty-minute short film or something like that, and then I found the filmmaker. We uh, worked, got it. 
adapt into a full feature length type film and you are actually went underwater and shot it no we sh- we shot it in uh, in bashirbagh oh, in bashirbagh <laughs> <laughs> You so always like doing this, na? Like no, well, cross no, departmental no, no, approach no, no, no. to a cinema approach. Well, I'm saying otherwise, no one would have allowed me to make a submarine movie. Yeah. In Telugu, when I said I'm trying to do this film, uh, no one wanted me to do it because it didn't have it didn't have a girl, it didn't have action, love, it didn't have nothing. And then we'd written a small uh, special scene for Tapsi, so at least there's some people believe in that there's a <laughs> film, and Tapsi was very kind to do that role for us. Yeah, yeah. So, though it was small and uh, it was. And it didn't have action in the regular rhythm way. It's a yeah. submarine action, so yeah. the missiles flying, right? So I remember people watching, a bunch of people watching it doing the edit, and they just didn't understand what the hell's going on. But <laughs> CG wasn't done, so you you can go from up, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know this. I love this. Oh, area you know, because this is Japanese. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now this is a new part of the flyover. This is the new flyover. Yeah. The, otherwise, that was. The this took a while to build, also. It did. This <laughs> is on forever. No, because I guess you're in between everything. Yeah. But it's fun to watch a city evolve. Yeah, um, it is, man. It's great. I've really seen the city, the city become I've something really, else. Really, really seen it grow in a very different fashion. You know, this is we are the sixth most surveyed city in the world. Wow, I didn't know that. Like every 500 meters, you'll see a camera, right? Hmm. It's just like mental surveillance the city has. Amazing. I, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Flyovers also. We've built so many. That's, that's pretty amazing. Some no, this government's done a great job. Yeah. Think, see, and the city was, I think, lucky right from the time when. We had some really visionary leaders, whether it was Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu, who came at uh, about 10-15 years ago. Dude, he was so inspired by Singapore. We look like Singapore. Yeah, see, and uh, uh, then the TRS government that came in with the KCR, Garu, KTR, all of that. They just transformed oh, no, no. what the city is, and I think we were lucky to have those leaders, visionary type leaders from whichever party they came. Hundred percent. Uh, so that was exciting. So then, Bahubali happens. Hmm. उसके बाद सैलाब आया क्या? Because then everybody is calling you being being come be the antagonist for us. Yeah, I got a lot of those. Uh, but I I was like, if I, if I can't beat Bala Deva, why do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, now that guy is a guy who can crush a bison under his bare hands. Right? Yeah. Now, and the violence, the skill that that guy can can have. I don't know if another antagonist will get it. I said, Ever. if I'm able to build that, then let me do it. Yeah. In Bahubali, you put on 110 kilos. Yeah, I was. I I didn't put on 110 kilos. I was. Uh, you were 110. 100. Actually, 110 for part two. Part one, I was much heavier. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So part one, I was 118 or 20 or something like that. When I was doing the bison sequence, that was huge. I was just a big guy, <laughs> and that's it. Like it was heavy to move myself around. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I used to eat like nine meals a day. What? Yeah, eight to nine meals a day, breaking up in every half hour, or twi- uh, like sorry, every two hours, and keep going. <laughs> you must have loved it all slightly. Yeah, I did. Like, are you a foodie? Yeah, very much. So then, then you must have loved See, it. Loving being a foodie and eating for training is two different things. Oh yeah. Because that's sometimes not the tastiest thing that you can eat. It's just you got to keep eating to. It's like fuel. Got to keep loading. And then you're working out as much as all well because. Yeah, I used to work out at least on a non-shooting day, twice a day. On a shooting day, we used to just lift once. So it was pretty hard for that regime. Is 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 such a big set overwhelming? Oh, uh, it's a joy to be in, man. Really? Yeah, I mean that's why you are in the movies, right? You want to be in in an alternative world. You want to create that. So, see what we got on Bahubali, where we knew whatever we were doing that day was the first. Time it time time. anybody was being anybody had done it right so I think that was fantastic so there you go that's a country club we're trying out here a lot yeah because uh, one of the owners of country club is actually my classmate from school that's so cool so <laughs> this is my first grade classmate so school and here was there used to be Wimpy's Burgers back then. yeah so we, we yeah, yeah of course <laughs> Universal was my place though Universal was your place yeah, yeah Universal I like was just close I'm old city by mama. Old city was only doing Ramzan. Uh, Ramzan, Ramzan, Ramzan I just land up there and I'm there. Yeah. Wow. I always love when I'm driving this. The approach to Hyderabad Public School. Bhai log left me move karo. Mera school aaya. That's where you're supposed to be. Right? Yeah. Wo palace hai. School nahi hai. That's <laughs> the might, the majesty of the Hyderabad Public School. Absolutely. It's amazing, dude. The number of CEOs from our school is next level. It's just beautiful, man. Just look at it. Like. to just say that this is 
from where you are. Yeah. And this is what made us is it's amazing. Correct. Sports day. What 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 are you doing on sports day? On sports day. Like because that's just generally I think. See, then I used to be that guy who <laughs> was that lazy fellow in that march past, no? <laughs> uh, during the all the houses yeah, 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 come yeah. together before. So I was that guy. So I was in. I wasn't too much of a sports guy. We'd be we'd be fascinated by the sports guy who run with the mashal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. No, I so I used to do. I used to enjoy short part a little bit. So I was like, okay, it's a heavy ball that you can throw, and I could throw it a little far. So that's that's as much as sport in school. Uh, but after I played sport for a little while, where uh, I used to play cricket for a little bit, and uh, then I had an issue with my eyes. So then the like ball and all of that. I said, too hectic wearing lenses and glasses <laughs> and playing, and it's too hot in Hyderabad in years. Yeah. So I stopped that. I used to box for a little bit. Uh, you did a little of a lot. Yeah, a little of. That and then when I was boxing, I injured my nose once. Oh and shit! Then, and I'm, I was like, hey, heavyweight boxing is not so cool in years. Uh, like in India, at least it's not like I can make a career like Mike Tyson. So <laughs> just drop it. So hence, that was the end of my sporting career. Wow. So coming to this bit mm. uh, where we talk about food mm. and we talk about your favorite slang, etc. Mm. So are you? Since you said you're a foodie, mm. what are your favorite places like to go to? My favorite places. Uh, During Ramzan, Old City is a big, big part of my life. Uh, like, what? 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 Halim? Kider ka Halim? Like, Adab is a place that I like very much. Nampali, next to the exhibition. Uh, so I know the owner quite well. Actually, he was in school again. Also, a guy from school. क्या बात? मोहम्मद अब हम क्या करें? हमारे स्कूल के लोग हैं इतने बढ़िया लोग. हम क्या कर सकते हैं? So he, so Adab was a place I went to often. So him and I were used to eat something at Adab, and then after that, travel around Old City and eat. Different things in different places, and we did that for thirty days non-stop during every day. <laughs> every day. Yeah. If that is that, me करने का फिर जाके खाने का. Yeah, of course, of course. So Ada, Shada a little bit. Yes. Uh, then Shagos. Shagos. Then uh, they used to, which is called Matwale Dudgar or something like that. It makes amazing faludas. क्या बात कर रहे हो? Yeah. And uh, then there used to be, uh, if you go a little just deeper into old city towards Barkas and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so they they all these barracks uh, correct for the nizam right yeah, yeah yeah and now all of those barracks like, earlier had soldiers now they have kebab centers <laughs> true true so it's it's pretty awesome those kebabs yeah. you got to take a left mutton biryani. or chicken what kind of biryani uh, mutton i can eat mutton biryani. biryani every day sure. every day yeah every day perfect perfect so, like hyderabad the mutton biryani and red chicken oh i can eat every single day of my life had you seen uh, leev because he's done a crazy good part in raid on one yeah of course yeah uh, I've uh, I saw the original right when it was offered to me. Okay. After it was offered to me, uh, Karan adapted it into a different version or a flavor of what that is. Okay. See, because the sense of family is very different in India. The sense of relationship between father, son, wife, mother, kids, Maybe everything is very very, very different from the West, also. right? So that that layer is what we've really added to this. Super bear. So then it's very different then. It is right from the. The first episode, you'll start seeing the yeah very big difference in what the shows. Is it more satiating for you as an artist to kind of have the arc come through in a much more slower See, fashion? See, I, I don't know if I can do many of these for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard to do many of these. Uh, you, I know it'll be this character will continue on if there's if people really enjoy it. There'll be multiple seasons of it for sure. You can keep telling us about the homes that are here. Oh yeah, so this little head is Mahesh Babu's house. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the head is on the left is actor Mahesh Babu's house. Then ahead of that, I don't know if he's still around, but Jain, uh, Jain Dhamil, the uh, the director. Jain, yes, of course. Jain Puranji, he used to live here. I don't know if he still does, but uh, this used to be Jain Dhamil's house. And that's Sundar. delicious. So uh, one thing that I was I had asked you the road trip because because my wife happens to be on the shoot today. Apart from the cavalry, she's there. Oh really? And when we are generally on road trip, she hates being the companion who has to do all of this. Oh really? Yeah. So like, how how is your life like? Is your, is your life? No, my, is my wife is the one who does all of this. She does she it. Loves it. She loves driving. Uh, she's got a jeep. Uh, so she's a she she yeah, she's a driving person. Oh wow! So drive she'll drive and I'll be sitting. That's that's your given. Yeah, easier. Sorted. Better. <laughs> and when I'm driving, also she get damn scared because she like to. 
डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफिसेज पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटीज को वर्किंग स्पेसिस फॉर फिल्म एंड दिस बिल्डिंग दैट यू आर कमिंग टू यूज टू बी अ फिल्म लेबोरेटरी दिस पार्ट या या इट इज टू बी अ फिल्म लेबोरेटरी दैट इज नाउ हैज हाउसेस अ बंच ऑफ ऑफिसेज इन द एरिया थैंक यू सर थैंक यू दिस वाज द बॉम्बे जर्नी हैदराबाद एडिशन राणा साइनिंग आउट थैंक्स मैन सी यू दिस इज द बॉम्बे जर्नी इन हैदराबाद या द बॉम्बे जर्नी हैदराबाद एडिशन यू कैन ऐड हैदराबाद इनटू इट क्या बात है उसमें लिख दिया हैदराबाद देखो ये ध्यान रखना आप लोगों को जाना है वापस प्रोटेक्शन के फंडे सेगमेंट में सुनना है इन्होंने क्या बोला और हमें बताना है कॉमेंट एंड देन यू गेट दिस पिलो दैट आई आल्सो साइन बिकॉज व्हाई नॉट थैंक यू प्लीज थैंक यू फादर फॉर निकोन थैंक यू फॉर श्योर सम नाइस गाय